Do you have your drinks with ginger ale? Well, today I'm having 60ml vodka with 120ml ginger ale. And the plan is to see how the spike and the crash compared to when I had coke, diet coke, tonic and all the other mixers that I've tried till now. This drink is around 175 calories. Let's see what happens. Ek toh, after watching food farmers videos, I'm now hyper aware that all these drinks, they're just flavored. Like this ginger ale, it's not like this has ginger in it. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 19 mg initial spike and a 15 mg crash below baseline. This is actually not too bad. But before I go into comparisons, I must point out that in all the videos that I've done in this series, my blood sugar levels only came up because I ate something. I couldn't wait for them to come back up naturally because of the low blood sugar phase, which makes me feel very hungry. Okay, in terms of the initial spike, this is slightly lower than vodka tonic, which had given an initial 23 mg spike and vodka orange juice, which had given an initial 25 mg spike. Of course, this initial spike is a lot lower than vodka coke, which had given an initial 32 mg spike. So yes, ginger ale did give a better option than these three but among the sugary mixers that I've tried till now, coconut water gave the best result because it had the least initial spike at 5 mg and it had the least crash at 14 mg. Looks like I'm going to have to develop a taste for coconut water as a mixer. 